What is up guys, welcome to 177 Entertainment, my name is Niff and this is episode 1 of the Non-Refundable Podcast. I'm Niff, as I said just a second ago, I'm joined by Jay, aka Samurai Gopher. Hey Lee. And uh, yeah, so this is a podcast where we'll just chat about inane shit that we find entertaining and also, I just waved at the people. You do. You've it's done that every. Podcast. This okay. is the third take, and you've done it every time. Yeah. I was hoping at some point you would notice. Hey, virtual people. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just basically a podcast where we just basically chat shit for an hour in a vain attempt to be humorous and or entertaining. Um, I have pulled out a limited legal disclaimer, um, which I would say my legal team has developed, but it is just me again, <laughs> vain attempt of team trying is to. A strong word. Yeah. Well. Legal, it's a strong word as well. <laughs> um, it's a, a mild attempt at trying to be humorous, but anyway, we shall continue. So this here is a non-refundable podcast. Uh, as in the title, we um, we here at 177 make no promises that what you're about to listen to will contribute to your life in any way. There is a high chance that what you're about to hear is totally inaccurate and the views expressed within are solely of those of the parties involved and do not represent 177 Entertainment's view on politics, celebrities, news, facts or opinions in the world in general. We would also like to remind you that this is a satirical podcast, or at least aims to be, with mild sarcasm and the occasional joke. Those of a serious disposition or lack of the understanding when it comes to the attempts at comedy may want to turn off now. Also, please listen responsibly. There we go. I actually managed to make it through that this time. Well done. And that all sounds very legally apt. I, I, I tried. We're covered. Yeah, I tried using big words in there where I could, because big words mean you know what you're talking about. Yes. And the upward inflection totally backs up my claims yeah so so that idea perfectly so did you you said you had things of which you wanted to make the noise from your face all about <laughs> i did should i should i go into my things first yes I really, do your things like, first. i only really have one one thing I, I you, no, I, 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 you're setting yourself short, short jay you have more than one thing it has a very big thing i do have a very big <laughs> thing but it's you have more than one beard thank you very yes. much um, what do you think i meant i've only ever my beard it's not your penis that's quite well actually isn't it like, it is it's it's I, I like the way you're bushing out for summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm doing it backwards. I'm also growing my hair. Yeah. Hence, I got a hat on because my hair is currently in the stupid phase where it does nothing. Good. The the white afro, the what the yeah. Like if I just <laughs> oh wow, that is that is yeah. up. It's just I get volume. I get eighties yeah. hair immediately. Many women are jealous of the volume of your hair they right now. Are, but nothing else about it because it's just <laughs> the volume. There's no style. No. Well, it's volume over style. I just cut. I cut mine short because even if I don't do anything, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so, that's uh, what I normally do. It's like I can just wake up in the morning. It's short. Boom. Yeah, off we go. I'll do. But no, I've decided. I've. This goes along with my theory that every man should grow a beard. Yep. Because I think you should. You Everyone should that should. See... I. I know a lot of people who can't. Yeah. So but like, you should try. You should no. see what your face looks like with a beard. It'll either be good or bad. You'll know immediately. It's never really a beard. Is never. I found a beard is never bad. I've seen some bad. Like if it's patchy. Oh, it's patchy. Bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, um, if you can grow if you a beard... Grow a full beard, it's yeah. generally going to look okay. Then you yeah. can f- like play around with the different style of beard, you know, go to full so beard, you know... Handlebar. Handlebar moustache, or you can go, like, weird redneck beard, which I've done before. That was odd. You, you can go the paedophile throat uh, neck beard. Exactly. Just exclusive neck beard, nothing yeah. but neck beard. Or as uh, somebody once used to describe me specifically, the chin beard. The chin beard. Like, yours is a chin beard. my chin. Yeah, yours is a chin beard. There's no other way to describe your beard other than the chin beard. Where else would I grow it? <laughs> um, so anyway, um, I, I figure that in the same way as growing a beard, men should try long hair. Mm-hmm. If you can, it's harder because it takes a damn long time. Yeah, it does. I gave up. I, um, I did it when I was younger. I've given up on a variety oh. of occasions, but this time I'm dedicated with my mid thirties. You know, you got I, you, you. You want to have the long hair ready for your midlife crisis. Exactly. So you can right. have something flowing in the wind when you when purchase I buy your my Porsche sports car yeah. slash boat. Yeah, slash bike. Yeah, high powered sports sports bike exactly. generally or yeah, Harley. Yeah. So anyway, this is all. Nothing to do with what I was going to say. Nothing to do with your thing. But this anyway. is a massive digression. Um, so the thing I was going to say is that I saw on the Facebook today, TM, all rights reserved, where you have to say <laughs> yeah, legally okay, uh, allegedly saying that brand name. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, right, um, no rights reserved, uh, not sponsored. I saw it on a social media feed of, the, of some description. Of a part of a body and also a bound document. Exactly. Yeah. Um, that Invader Zim yep. is coming back to Nickelodeon. For a film. They're going to do a I, film of it. I presume you immediately decided to explode either of yourself or in your trousers. I did both, actually. Both, yeah. I, I, I even squeed a little bit. Did you? Like a fangirl. Oh, you so fang, you fangirl. Did you swoon? I, I did. I fainted full out. Did I was you, just unconscious on the floor. Did, you go, just, did the vapours catch you? The, the vapours got up with me. Yeah. Someone brought over smelling salts. It was a whole thing. <laughs> 
But um, but I'm very excited by this. Now, there is a bit of trepidation. I can tell. I can see your jeans. Exactly. Mm. Uh, it's been... Oh, God. It was 2001 it was on Nickelodeon originally. So it's been over a decade. Anything mm-hmm. that comes back over a decade later, I immediately worry about. Because the writer has had 10 years of changing to do. Yes. As a writer and as a person. Like, is yeah. it going to be as good as it ever was? Is, is it the same writer and everything as well? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Far, oh, okay. Apparently so. As far as I'm aware... It's all the same. I think oh. they've even managed to get the same voice actors. Oh, wow. Okay. So Their voices probably aren't 10 years on. That's a lot of... I mean, I'm, that's I know what of, I can do to my voice in 10 yeah. years with whiskey. Exactly. That's so, a lot of cheap booze and horrible cigarettes probably yeah. to get through. They are they are cartoon writers as well, exactly. so I assume that's that's what they live off of. So, um, just a bit of background for anyone that doesn't know what Invader Zim is. I must confess, I'm not. I haven't watched too much Invader no, Zim. As you say, it, it came off in 2001, which is yeah, right when I was hitting my ago. cartoon stride. So it's written by a dude called, uh, written and animated, I believe, primarily animated by a dude called uh, Johan Vasquez. I've probably butchered his name. Yeah, it's foreign. That's fine. Yeah. Um, who White has privilege. a very, very dark mind, uh, and this show was on at 3:30 in the afternoon on Nickelodeon, mm-hmm. the kids' channel. Yeah. The premise of the show... I believe I believe it's a young adults channel, Nickelodeon. Is it, is it young I adults? Believe it's, I believe it's young we, adults. We're talking sort of like 10, 11, 12... Uh, old right? enough to know to have angst. Right, okay. So just hitting their angst yeah. period. Okay. So the premise of the show is there is a, an alien called Zim. And he's an invader. So his job is to go to planets and invade them for nice. his empire. Um, he's terrible at it. So nobody wants him to go and invade planets. Like, he's really awful at it. So he gets given Earth to invade as essentially a joke, just like a yep. get him out of the way. He can deal with this shitty planet that we don't even care about, and he's out of the way. Yep. He takes it very seriously, and he turns up on Earth and he disguises himself as a schoolchild because he's very short. Right. Okay. So the yep. only thing he could disguise himself as. Yep. So he wears a very terrible disguise and blends in at school. Okay. All well and good so far. Seems quite yep, pleasant same. and amusing. Yeah, it's, I mean, you're describing it out of an extraterrestrial Arthur at this yeah, point. Basically, yeah, basically, like, yeah. I'm sure there are a variety of shows on Nickelodeon and... Or My Life, uh, My Parents Are Aliens. Exactly, yeah. there we go. There yeah. are comparable shows that are perfectly acceptable for children. Except for one episode that stands out very strongly in my mind. Spoiler alert for this, by the way. <laughs> Spoiler alert for this program that came off of the air seven, seven, yeah. eight, 16 years ago. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't watched it, you've done yourself a massive disservice. Go and watch it now. Um, so in an episode, he gets hit with a ball in the playground. Okay. Um, he Basically, somebody else gets hit and goes, Ah, oh, my spleen. And he goes, spleen, what a ridiculous internal organ. Gets hit with the ball and goes, Ah, my squiddly spooge. <laughs> At which point he realises that he doesn't have the same internal organs as humans. And if he was ever treated by a doctor, they would immediately figure out he's an alien. Yep. So he decides to rectify this by getting organs. <laughs> which he steals from school children and then replaces with other objects like cans of soda <laughs> and one of those cows that when you tip it it moves <laughs> yeah, does yeah. exactly that he, he replaces children's bodily organs with all these things nice. worse still he doesn't understand human anatomy so he is under the impression that the more organs he has the more human he is <laughs> so at the end of the episode he is this huge thing Full, Full of, of organs. organs. He opens his mouth and intestines roll out. He's got like so. He's taken, he stumps. is taking vital organs. He's not just taking he takes spleens all, he takes and brains, pancreas. He takes everything. But it's a cartoon, so no one. Someone dies. dies. Yeah, I mean. Um, yeah. So by the end of the episode, he is full, full of human organs. Yeah. Chop brim. The lovely thing is with this epi- this show that nothing car- nothing really carries over to the next yeah. week. So next week we reset back to normal. Everything's fine. Yeah. But this is the kind of show it is. It is was. Is was. going to be. Will be again with the film coming out. Yeah. It was. The... Obviously, he has a nemesis called Dib, yeah. who is a big believer in UFOs and knows he's an alien and is just trying to prove it. But because he's the kid at school that believes in UFOs, he's no a weird kid. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, it's enormously entertaining. You really should watch it. It's, yeah, it's on... I've, I've heard you go on about it. Yeah. And on, and it's on, on... Uh, an internet service where you can search for videos and then watch them online. Is it? Yeah. It's not me, it's. The other one, yeah, um, and it's like a cylindrical object that things could pass through. 
Oh no, I can say that. There's no. You can say YouTube. There's no. Oh, YouTube. Wicked. Yeah. It's YouTube. Yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. this is going on YouTube. So I, well, I just I'm, I'm assuming that gives me the rights to it. Yeah. Jump over your legal statement and ruin everything <laughs> by getting sued by everyone. <laughs> yeah. If someone wants to raise a legal query against me, they can fucking do one. Yeah. Do something. <laughs> I'll, I'll it. file it in the uh, the filing system I have at home. <laughs> it's called a shredder. Mm, good old yeah. shredder. 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 Speaking of shredder. Shredder. Uh. Teenage what about Mutant two Ninja, Ninja Turtles? Turtles is yeah. terrible. Which one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the two new ones. I've the two new films. The films. A, a portion of the new newest one. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's, it looks god awful. I can't remember what it is. The new one it's, yeah. Michael Bay. Yeah, Michael Bay fied one. A pile yeah. of shite. Yeah, and weird CG turtles. I've never been a TMNT all over fan. Your turtles childhood, Jay. Something Fuck I didn't you. I didn't realize that uh, mm. apparently. Um, the, I've drawn a complete, complete blank on um, the actual replacement was, but TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, is the yes. American one. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. That was it, Hero Turtles, Turtles yeah. Because, because the British licenses thought that ninjas were too aggressive. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But didn't account for the fact that tons of kids would play in sewers. Yes. Which they did. Or try to genetically modify themselves to become yeah, tortoises. Yeah, like so many kids got caught in sewers when uh, Hero Turtles was actually on the TV, got trapped in sewers. Yep. And I the can believe British that. Sewers are nothing like American sewers. Oh they're god, no, they're awful. Fighting. They're the yeah, the thin, small, and very yeah, far so underground. So it's very easy to get stuck just in the, the manhole. manhole on the way. But sorry, no, um, PC person hole cover. Person hole cover. Person hole cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, equal opportunities. It's, so basically, Turtles was cool when I was a kid, and isn't now. So the comics are you, Michael Bay. Apparently, comics are still quite good. Comics probably are still quite good, actually. Uh, no, they done Dark House. Is it Dark House comics? Uh, Dark Horse, I think. Dark it is. Horse, that's it. I think that's who it was originally, or was it Image? I forget. One of them. I think Dark Horse has got them now. Some fan out there. Because they do like the World of Warcraft tells. one. They do all the other like off bra- off Marvel DC ones. Oh, pretty, okay, yeah. Pretty sure like they do the. I think they do the Warcraft one. So like the original comics were really really good. Mm. And written as a reaction to. Oh, generally everything originally is really really good. Yeah. And the stuff that ends up but now they were is just as a reaction to comics of the time so mm. they were nothing to do with just selling toys and pleasing kids that wasn't the point of them this also actually completely randomly brings me on to one thing i was checking Does earlier <laughs> yeah so i have a habit of That's going through and screenshotting random things over the last week of news this is it's been about two weeks since we did the other um since we did the, the pilot point five. the point five yeah um with the awful sound uh, sound issues and also if the one person who watched seven minutes of that god awful recording is watching this one as well. I want to do a shout out to that person in Florida who <laughs> sat and listened to our inane voices in bad audio for seven goddamn minutes. Thank you, person in Florida. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't do any, like, as a, as a thing, it's not a big thing, but for, for my channel, it is a big thing. That's yeah. the sing- longest single watch time that I have had on there. Brilliant. And it's to a very Thanks, badly Florida, recorded... Dude. If you listen to this or one... Dude or female. I, it doesn't yeah. tell me that. Dude is a, a multi... Person, Gender yeah, it's in these times, got to be clear. Person, <laughs> this person. As far as I can tell, dudes can be guys or girls. It makes no difference to me. If you are listening as well, do leave a comment if you have a YouTube account because yeah, saying, I yeah, want to find it out. Was me, yeah, I just want to know who you are. If I'm honest. Um, we'll send you nothing. We won't my... get anything from us. We've got no. All budget. right, my phone screenshot has managed to get rid of that one. Where's it gone? Please don't tell me that's the one I need. <laughs> uh, keep vamping, keep vamping, keep vamping. It is the one I need. Yeah, uh, yeah. I vaguely remember. Oh no. Oh wait, no, that's that's the. I didn't screenshot it. Um, what it is was I read that the I didn't read too much into the article. I just read a mm-hmm. brief synopsis of it. It was on theweek.co.uk. I feel it is. I don't know the exact URL. Yeah, good. if you Google the week, it's the first one that comes up. It's basically they do news summaries like these are the ten bits of news you need to know today. Oh, okay, cool. So and it gives you a brief synopsis of, of what With it is. One. one of them says the. Uh, one of the managers and directors of Marvel mm. um, has said that comic book sales have slumped because of e- equal opportunities. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, I diver- actually... no, sorry, I, I like diversification. Yeah, so no, it I is, actually kind of know a little bit about this. It's he's saying that because they've had like the way uh, from what the gl- bit I gleaned off of it is basically saying because all of the heroes have now changed to have female, black, Hispanic, yeah. non-standard typecast characters by yeah. way of white male, white female, yeah, or Black man in regards yeah, to like, things like uh, Black Panther. Iron Man is now uh, a black girl. Yeah. Uh, black teenage girl. Um, Captain Thor America is wasn't... a woman. Spider Man is a black guy now, I yes. think. Yeah. Captain America is now a Nazi. It, yeah, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Or Hydra, but yeah, he's Nazi. Hydra. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's basically saying that he's blaming that for the slump in comic book sales. So, in the synopsis I got, anyway. Yeah, sure. So I'm going to give props to uh, my mate Bass here. 
um, who you know, Bass. I know Bass. I'm sure Bass has some. He does a podcast of some he description. Does a podcast of some description, which I will it's link called, at some point. Yeah, it's called the Story Toolkit, and it there basically you helps you. Helps you, if you're looking to write stuff. It helps you with that. So we were having a chat about this, um, and um, from what I gleaned from our chat, which happened very late at night, so I don't remember a lot of it. Oh, they're the best. Ch- they're the best chats. Though. Yeah, they are. Uh, but basically, what Marvel seems to have done is. Marvel Marvel trades almost entirely off of its back catalogue of heroes. It doesn't create new characters. Oh, yeah, no, it just, it just recycles, recycles, what, it recycles what you it know. It doesn't know how to make a new character and make people care about the new character. No. So, the cinematic universe does, though. Yeah. It makes you care about a new character in regards to a cinematic universe. Sure. But they but are comics, established IP. They just, like, they just keep reusing yeah. the established IP. Yeah. Um, so what they've done is they've taken the established IP and played around with it and done crazy mm-hmm. things with it which diversified is, is as you would cool. say like yeah why yeah. the hell not yeah it? it is a cool thing yeah. um but because they don't know how to do anything literally all they've done is just gone was a man make it a woman and the, really the not same done things happen else, anything yeah nothing else <laughs> has really happened and they've not given you any reason to care about these new characters in any way whatsoever yeah and you don't have the back catalogue to care about like, yeah, no, Spider-Man is no, these characters, is no so. longer Peter Parker it's another guy exactly. just so happens like, to be Spider-Man you have no fond memories of them there's nothing to draw you into it basically yeah. so they've blamed the diversification for the fact that no one's well, reading well, it from what, is it them or is it that guy is that a Marvel statement I or is think, it a that guy statement I think it's I think that guy has said it I think Marvel has kind of towed the line with it and gone okay. We failed in doing this. Gonna gonna drop a massive allegedly in all of this because I do not have Huge enough allegedly. Yeah, like I do not have enough facts to not it. spoken to any of the people at the yeah. Marvel. This is just the way we understand it from what we have gleaned from the world. Yeah, and I've only read one article. I haven't looked and at I've any other ones. I've read an article and had a chat with a mate about it. Yeah, so we we so, are extremely <laughs> uninformed in this. Yeah, like, everything we're saying now could be bollocks. I refer you back to the legal disclaimer at the beginning. Exactly, that's why it's there. Yeah. Uh, but basically, so they, they've not given us any reason to care about these characters. They've not done anything to make them interesting. They've not given us a good lead into them. They're not inherently that interesting characters. It's just that Iron Man's now a girl. Yeah, a Spider-Man. Fine, yeah. What? Yep. So they're blaming the diversification and saying people don't care about these characters because they're girls and Nazis and, and whatever else. Yeah. Um, when reality is people don't care about these characters because, because it's they've the just same... not been very well written. Yeah, it's the same shit they've done for the last yeah, like, 70 years. It's been tank- just a different colour ink. Your readership has been dropping off anyway. Yeah. And now- I'm going to say, I don't, I'm not a big comic book reader. I like comic books, but I sure. do not have the time or the money to invest in a comic book. I will buy I buy graphic novels. I enjoy yeah. graphic novels because they are sort of uh, fixed stories. I can't... Yeah, yeah. I don't have the time or the effort you to can follow. Do, yeah, like, it's really tricky with graf- with comics, isn't it? Like, they, they don't have a particularly regular uh, release date. Like, no. you can't go, this comic will be out every Friday. In, it, in like, America, I think they they do have even a more. In America, they're not really? that good. No, no, no. Right. Um, because it's the like, way oh, the by industry, the way, new episode. The way the industry is built, you get like weird gaps and pauses where artists have to work on like fourteen different comics at once and right. rotating through them. Okay. So yeah, they've yeah. got a really awkward release schedule, and then right. like you'll get a say a six story a six comic arc for something. Yeah. You read the six. Uh, comics in succession yep. and then it won't be out again for two years yeah because he's doing something else because but it's not, the end, something else. it's not the, the end of that arc it's not the end of that arc yeah. been, that bit has finished but it's like it's like watching a season of Walking Dead yeah. and then the season next season isn't out for two years <laughs> which, exactly which is basically what happened with Game of Thrones at this point yeah, exactly it? Like, yeah. it was like well I don't care anymore and with TV now like you can binge watch an entire season in a day Oh yeah, you get it all on like Netflix releases a whole season at once. Yeah, you can watch it at your leisure. Comics on certain stuff they didn't with like um, Better Call Saul. No, that was released weekly. weekly. Designated Survivors. There are a few that they do weekly, but there are House of Cards was weekly when they were releasing Uh, it. Originally, it was. I think season two was all at once, wasn't it? Uh, season three, I think it was, was it? Maybe the way the newest like season was, they just went, yeah. oh, here's the whole new season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, which is a better way to do it, in my opinion. So they have the option to do that. Comics don't. So actually, with comics, you're kind of better yeah. for a run to finish and then go buy the trade paperback version that's got all of them put in one book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I was literally uh, almost doing on this week until I realised that I really don't have any money. Uh, yeah, because fair, it's yeah. got uh, the Deadpool versus the Marvel Universe Ooh, story nice. arc, which is my favourite story arc yeah. in the world. Yeah, because it cool. just ends with Deadpool... Uh, spoilers. Deadpool coming out and just killing all the anime, yeah. <laughs> all the cartoon designers. Mm. And then it just sort of stops in the classic way that Deadpool can. Yes, because it's Deadpool. Because Yeah, because at the end of the day, Deadpool... 
So um, yeah, basically, I don't. I just feel that Marvel are not being, are not held, holding themselves accountable enough for what they've done wrong in the situation. Yeah, this is also on the other end where there there is a massive brouhaha going on in regards to their TV universe with Iron Fist, and how the yeah. the whitewashing of Iron Fist. Yeah, how, why does which, it have to be a white guy from New York? Like, yeah, it's awkward. Like, yeah, I believe in the story, it is a white. No, guy, isn't no, it? He's no, Asian. He's an story. Asian guy. He's, in he's, he's an American guy, though, isn't it? Is uh, a... I think I can't remember if he's Asian American. From what flat Asian, I forget. From what I've I've watched a few people talk about yeah. this, um, like dude, the Funhouse. Like he's on... in Hell's Kitchen because he he does team up with Luke Cage. Yeah, and, yeah, like all of that's fine. Part of the the, the defenders and why. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the the I don't know because I've watched Funhouse talk about it a lot because mm-hmm. they do a film and TV thing. Sure. Um, and it's been quite a, a big thing with sort of white. Because they're in so Holly- they're in Hollywood, they're yeah. like they're based in Hollywood in Los Angeles. Yeah. So they are more they have a film thing and they know more about the ins and outs of it. And there's sure. a big cry of whitewashing going on. And um, yeah, it's basically like there's an opportunity for it to not be a white guy, but it just ends up being a white guy and stuff. Yeah. Again, I don't know enough about it to really comment on it. I just find it funny that they're blaming diversification on one side, yet also being shouted at for. Not I understand that that is a Netflix. Yeah, I believe a Netflix casting thing rather than a Marvel casting well, thing. Yeah, I believe. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure who. I don't know yet. who gets control. If it falls under the same guy who controls the cinematic universe, I imagine it probably will. I don't know. To I'm get him to, to the what, credits, to be honest, I'm trying to think if anyone. Because I know that there's that one guy who spearheads the whole cinematic uh, universe. Kevin uh, Feige. Yeah, him, Feige. Kevin Feige. Feige. See, he seems know. like quite a nice guy. Nice guy. He he's, seems like he, he's got his head screwed on. Oh yeah, he's he's fucking on it. Like he, he has made a massive universe. Like yeah, one like, guy in control of it, and has got so many things spot on. Well, basically, what happened is the guy that was running it before him didn't like putting, didn't like giving money out. Like the guy that ran it before him is the reason that Black Widow had no toys and no merchandise and yeah. was ignored because he was a horrible person. And then they got rid of him and gave it to Kevin Feige. And it was just people came up to Kevin Feige and said, "We want to do this in the movie. It's going to cost some money." And he went, "All right, all right, cool, go on then." But yeah, and gave them money. And then, but he also has vetoes on a lot of stuff. He's like, no, that doesn't. Have, no, you're not. Yeah, doing but that. I yeah. think like he does it for the right reasons. Yeah, he does. Like that. That guy, is not in the vein of what we're trying yeah, to do yeah. as a cinema. Whereas the universe. other guy was like, "No, because you're a woman." Yeah, which is a terrible answer to everything. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Kevin Feige seems like he's got his head screwed on straight, and he's doing it for the. The good, yeah. The whitewashing thing is definitely an issue. Like, yeah. So Iron Fist, there is no reason for Danny Rand to be a white. It doesn't help the fact it's apparently doing really badly as well. I've watched a few episodes. It is currently not good. Yeah. It I might mean, get better. I've heard that episode eight is really good. Right. Episode eight tends to be a good episode in all seasons. Yeah, it does tend to be. Yeah. Um. So the, one of the issues at the moment is there is um. A fem- an Asian female martial artist character yeah. who is better than Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Like, in so many ways. This guy who's spent 10 yeah, or plus she, years becoming the Iron Fist. She's more interesting and she's a better fighter. Yeah. Uh, which is very awkward because he's meant to be the embodiment of a living weapon. Yes, he is the Iron Fist. He His fights look really choreographed. Yeah, I've, I've heard there is 50 really, cuts within 30 seconds in one fight. They really awkwardly choreographed and it just doesn't flow properly. I've heard it likened to Taken 3 in regards to cutting in fights, which yeah, is yeah, not yeah. a good thing. No, yeah, absolutely. No, that's that's a very fair summation. So, like, the Marvel Netflix universe, for my money, this is just an opinion, mm-hmm. Daredevil Season 1 is the best. Yep. Daredevil Season 1 was fantastic. I've, I've not got into them. I found them... I found Daredevil season one very slow. And just it came is up. very slow, um, but but if you give it the time, yeah. it's worth the like the payoff that's, is huge. That's the thing I'm lacking. There's just the time to sit and yeah, watch. The payoff in season one is fantastic. Uh, then I would probably say Jessica Jones season one is second, mm-hmm. but it is it falls down at the end of the Jessica Jones season is poor, right? Which is a shame because the stuff leading up to it is really good, yeah, and then it just falls at the end. Then probably Daredevil Season 2, yep. which is good but has a terrible villain, which is a downside. It's Kingpin, isn't it? No, no. It's, they, they shoehorn Kingpin in because I think they realised how good he was in Season oh, I know. 1. Isn't, who's the one, which is the one that's got Punisher? Is that Daredevil? Season 2. two Daredevil, so yeah. basically, Punisher's cool. Punisher's yep. great. He's a really good representation of Punisher. Kingpin's fantastic because Vincent D'Onofrio, who plays Kingpin, 
He's great at I, it. I he's fantastic, yeah. He's so good. And he's in season one, he's amazing. But the main villain mm. is called The Hand. Right, okay. Incidentally, The Hand are what the foot soldier, the foot clan in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yes. rip off. They yeah, were designed right. specifically to, to rip to off spoof. the hand yeah, yeah, from yeah. Marvel. Yeah. They end up being a better villain than the hand are. <laughs> the hand are very bad. They're, they're, nin- they're, they're a clan of ninjas. Because uh, everything appears to be a clan of ninjas. It's very in right now. Yeah. Um, they don't ninja very well for a start. They okay. have poor ninjings. Right. Um, and so they're, they're seen all the time. Yeah, like they're very easy to spot. Yeah. Um, and they're not very good at fighting. Okay, so yeah, they um, literally are the worst form of ninjas you ninjas. could get. Yeah. Um, their plan is... A quite vague one. I, I don't. St- I've seen season two twice now, and I still don't fully get the point of it. Just to fuck shit up, basically. Yeah, they've got some ultimate weapon or some beard. Everyone that probably kills something or whatever. Everyone has an ultimate weapon. Exactly. It's it's a big, a big a bit, bad. It's a big bad. It's going to happen. It's a bit paint by numbers. The hand. It's yeah. A bit yeah. Blah. Uh, there are better villains out there. So anyway, they're crap, which brings the whole season down. Yeah. But that's its third. Mm-hmm. Then Luke Cage, which was doing very well for itself, has got. A Gorgeous style, um, and then again suffers from the fact that the villain is flat out terrible. Right to the point that when he turns, spoiler alert, when he turns up at the end in his, he gets a suit so he can fight Luke Cage. Okay, I actually laughed when he turned up. Does he? Because he just looks ridiculous. <laughs> right, okay, and there's a bit like more spoilers, but this really annoyed me. His his suit is bulletproof. It can absorb bullets, so that he can take on. Is it made of adamantium? No, it's made no. of mm-hmm. vibranium. They or... don't even bother explaining what from, it's from, made from of. From from It's made of magic, presumably. Yep. But the idea it's is made Luke of plutonium. Cage... Exactly. Yep. Luke Cage is bulletproof, so you wear a suit that makes you bulletproof. You can fight Luke Cage. Yeah, great. Yeah, and he's got these like power glove things that mean he can hit as hard as Luke Cage. Okay. And then he wear he's wearing a cycle helmet essentially. Right. Okay. With a visor. Okay. Which looks ridiculous. Yeah. Most of the reason why I laughed. Um, and this guy unloads a clip at him. Yeah. It, well, he, he shoots him twice in the chest. And, and ting, ting. Nothing happens. It just yep. thunk and absorbs it. So now, if you absorb it and the body just drops? or I, I seem to remember it just drops. It's like, kunk, kunk. no kinetic. So it's like, energy. yeah, it absorbs kinetic. Exactly. Yeah. Which okay. is cool. I'm yeah. down with that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Well, fine. Yeah, as long as they are establishing a principle going, look, this is what it does. Like, this, this is what will not, happen if you will... It's shoot. not like it's really, really strong and the bullet flattens itself against it. It physically no. absorbs the force. And just, yeah, Drops. cool. Exactly. Right, okay, so we're yeah, fine yeah. with that. But his face thing, uh, yeah. we assume that the visor and the hat are also bulletproof. Yeah. That's a fair assumption to oh, make. Oh, yeah, yeah. The suit is. Yeah. Why wouldn't the hat be? Yeah. However. I'm sensing uh, it isn't coming up. No, no, it probably is. It they probably never is. shoot him in the head. Oh, okay, right. Okay, um, right. You'd probably check that, but anyway. Yeah. But his, his mouth, chin, like the lower half of his face. Mm-hmm. Is, Exposed. Is, yeah, has nothing oh. on it. So if you were this man with a gun who is standing, I think about three, maybe four feet away from him, oh. and is a career so, criminal... So what would generally be classed as point blank in a murder investigation? Exactly. It, it, be, that is point blank range. He's basically. a career yeah. criminal who yeah. has done bad things to people with guns. Okay. So yeah. he can probably aim relatively well. Yeah, he could hit something from three or four feet yeah. away. Doesn't yeah. think to shoot him in the mouth. You, right, okay. You end, up with, you end up with a Darth Revan kind of thing going on there, or Darth yeah. Malak, rather. It's but. just like, there's a clear weak spot there. Shoot him in the face, you win the game. Yeah, but plot. But plot occurs, and then yeah. there's a very long, drawn-out fight scene. Because they put in flashbacks. Oh, God. In order to help you figure out how Luke's going to beat this guy. So, ah, oh, he's, he's pulling memories back from this. Yeah, this and remember when this happened, and this happened, and oh my god, that's how you beat him. Could like, that not yeah, have been but... established through the episode rather than through the fight? Yeah, yeah, like the fight takes probably about six or seven minutes, maybe right. longer. And it is essentially just two very strong men punching each other. Okay. Is there, They're no... not even amazing martial artists, they're just punching each other. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just, just... Some drywall gets broken. Like, a car gets smashed. Not on someone, someone Just lands on it on and it. breaks. Yeah. They don't even pick up a car. <laughs> it is a disappointing fight with boring <laughs> flashbacks in it. But still comes in fourth. Uh, yes, because Iron Fist currently is terrible. To the point that I've invented a drinking game for Iron Fist. Well, so every time that you understand what happens, you have a drink. No, so every time he declares that he's Danny Rand, All right. you have a drink. He yep. does that a lot. I'm Danny Rand. No one believes him. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to prove I'm Danny Rand. No, I, ID. Yeah, like, he passport. doesn't have any ID, he was in a plane crash. 
Oh yeah, because you can't. Apparently, there are no hospital records for him, despite the fact that he went missing when he was like ten. Yeah, he uh, never ever report. been to the hospital when he was Birth born. For example, no, yeah. none of this is no. available. So anyway, I'm um, Danny Rand. Have a drink. Uh, anytime he says some Zen bullshit, which okay. again he does a lot. Yeah. Um, to go forward, you must go backwards. Yeah. The, move, move like water. Let it flow through you. Yeah, all that yeah. bollocks. He yeah, does yeah. that a lot. Um, anytime he's shockingly naive, which happens a lot as well. Yeah. Uh, anytime the shitty CGI eagle turns up. Nice guy. Love a good CGI a eagle. CGI eagle that looks awful. Right. Okay. Really awful. Um, and any time his fake brother-in-law, whatever he's meant to be, best childhood friend, is an utter douche, which is every time he's on screen. <laughs> he's a proper, like, he looks like he's in Wall Street in the 90s. He's got the slick back hair and the power suit. Oh, he's a cool 80s dude, a cool he, 90s dude. Yeah, he is. He's a yuppie. Really odd. He's a, he's yeah, a, he's a he's early a proper, 90s yuppie. Yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a yuppie before the, the bubble burst, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. He's but, walking around with his cell phone doing business. Because yeah, he business does. Things. He, bu- he has business meetings. And he businesses business things. Yeah. To business people. Yeah, yeah, it's really odd. He businesses the business stuff to be the businessman. Yeah. In and his... it turns out that the ultimate evil in Iron Fist is the business. Hand. Oh, was, oh, who we've already decided are oh, a crap villain. <laughs> camp of shit, yeah. So, like, it's, yeah, well, we're done now. Fair enough. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's one of the ones I will eventually... I, I will sit and watch, watch all it, of that. It might get good, but it's currently bottom of the list on the Marvel world. No, I'll, I'm going to watch the Netflix Marvel stuff at one yeah. point. I'm going to just sit down and do it. But it's just... Yeah. It's not It's not really interested me. I'm, I like comic books, and I like comic book stuff. I just never... like. I will watch the films because they are new, yeah. and, and they are enjoyable. Genuinely, the first season of Daredevil is very good. And one, re- one thing I love about Daredevil... Is he he can fight very well? He's yes, <laughs> yeah. The, the fight scenes are when the, cause I, I was like episode four, I think. Yeah, and I was enjoyed, but I was just like, it's just a slow burn. The, and then something else caught my attention. He, again, he's a better martial artist than the Iron Fist, but he do, <laughs> they do this great thing, which I've not really seen in, in many shows. Yeah, where part way through a fight, like there'll be a lull, yeah, because he's knocked everyone on their asses and they're getting back up, and he will just kind of deflate. Until he has to fight again, you just see him go. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. This is so exhausting because he's just a man. Yeah, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, like you see him get, you see the toll that it takes on his body doing what he does. Yeah, and I like that, which is fair. I mean, because yeah. at the end of the day, all Daredevil is is a blind man with super hearing. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, there's nothing else going on there. Yeah, no. It's the, I mean, yeah, that sounds quite cool. But yeah, I've, so I've got, I think, maybe three, maybe four episodes into it. I don't know. I remember seeing him in a dumpster and, a dumpster and he got helped by a black woman. And yes. That's, that's all I remember yeah. from watching it. Um, but yeah, that was a very long yeah, uh, diversion right. onto... So, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's, so, I, I just can't contribute all that much to it because I've not watched a lot of it. That's I just, fair. I, I I'm on the peripheries of news a lot of the time. I sort of hear things. Um so I've just screenshot a couple of things over mm. the I say uh, the URL is the week.co.uk that's the website I use for my synopses of um a, a brief uh, croutons of news I shall call them <laughs> news croutons mm. L- little bits little appetizers news croutons on in the soup new- of our podcast news entrees shall we say <laughs> um so I've got one grabbed here. It's just from the comic relief that was on weekend before last, I believe. Oh yeah, I didn't watch any of that. No, I didn't either. I don't watch TV. Um, I watched my my like normal millennials on demand yeah. when I yes. please and how I please. Exactly. And generally at an additional cost. Yeah. Um, mm. But so there have been uh, comic relief prompts 150 Ofcom complaints. Oh my. So from the comic relief show, basically the BBC put on a, a long televised thing to raise money for. Um, the Comic Relief charity uh, it raised a grand total of seventy three million for charity through the course of its show, which is a shit ton of money. Quite a um, bit of money. Well done to all the people who actually contributed. I'm a piece of shit and didn't. <laughs> um, but the the Friday night show raised more than 70, uh, 73 million for charity. But some viewers were more upset by the bag language from Steve Coogan and Russell Brand, while the sketch in which Vic Reeve appears to brandish a fake penis at Susanna Reid caused controversy. The BBC did not reveal how many complaints it had received. Which is basically okay. just like I. Def- it just reminds me of the Russell Howard. Uh, Fetch my pen of rage. Yeah, you can use any facts. No, just blind anger. I, it's, it's for comedy. It's not right? children in need. No, so it's not an inherently. Child it's also based. in the title. It's comic relief. It is satire based. There's going to be like. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Shock horror, knob gags, 
and bad language. Well, I mean, for a start, it's Vic Reeves. It's Vic yeah. Reeves. He he is known. It's Russell for, Brand. For yeah, that's sake. what I mean. My first time is Vic Reeves, yeah. who is known for being a, an alcoholic and a wife beater. For a start, yeah, like quite publicly known. Again, I will say just to be honest, allegedly, allegedly, but allegedly, there's quite a lot of reports of him being drunk and beating his wife or yeah. ex-wife. I forget the status of it. Uh, and then you got Russell Brand, a former drug addict, mm. known for his outlandish statements and very loud comments mm. and language and language. Yeah. And is almost in, entirely held to them, in effect. He's yeah, known yeah. for them. And they're on the bookings. I mean, Steve Coogan is Steve Coogan. I mean, yeah. that's... Uh, and he's going to have... The bad language would have been said after the watershed. You would assume so, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the BBC. There's no well, way in hell... Six o'clock, yeah. fuck this shit. Yeah. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's just British people being angry for angry things. Yeah. Uh, but on Light News, we've got a new pound coin. We have got a new pancoin. Have you had a new pancoin? No, I haven't. No, me either. For reasons that I can't say on here because it may be listened by people who would hear it, but there are very clear ways uh, we don't have pound coins, which I'll elaborate afterwards. Okay. I, I, we should let's put, we should have had pound coins, but they didn't turn up, basically. Ah, uh, yeah, um, I'm with you. Are and talking yeah, in your place of work? Yes, in my yeah. place of work. Um, but yes, no, I am very excited to see them um, because when the, the day they came out, I examined the pound coins that we had at work mm-hmm. um, and I think we had maybe seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, three of them were fake. <laughs> at least to my at least to my eyes, one was quite clearly fake because it was yellow, like and okay. and substantially lighter the, than the one I I ascertained and to chocolate. be. No, not chocolate. <laughs> uh, it would have been more useful if it were chocolate. This yes. was just yeah, it was just a waste of space. Yeah. But no, it's, they're basically the before it says a new twelve side pound coin comes in circulation today to gradually replace the existing version, which is easy to fake, which it has been. It's the most. Yeah, uh, yeah, there yeah, is, yeah. I think there was an estimated. It doesn't say on here, but I remember reading something like an estimated seven million fake pounds in circulation in the UK, yeah. which is a hell of a lot. Yeah, it's probably of all in my previous retail experience and money handling years. It's definitely the thing I've handled the most fakes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I go, I go for my wallet on any day. Like, if I go out drinking and come back, I can go for my wallet and find at least two or three yeah, fake exactly. pound coins in it. So the, the new one is considerably harder to fake. Yeah, because it yeah. uses, um, it's got a silver inner core with oh, a like gold, the like two pound coin. coin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, so it uses the same sort of construction as two pound yeah. coin. Uh, it's smaller and thinner than the, the pound coin, I believe, yeah. or it fits within the pound coin. Um, so. And it's got 12 sides. It's uh, yeah. whatever so that. It's a more complex shape. Harder, uh, more harder to struck. Yeah. structure, yeah, sure. Yeah, so harder to fabricate, which, which would be good. I mean, it yeah. stops um, it stops people defrauding the government, basically, or defrauding yeah, the, the currency. Uh, we're going to need them soon. Yes. To be, you know, <laughs> I keep rubbing together. They do not make babies. It no. is irritating. No. Do they uh, set on fire? No. Mm. Uh, if they did, then they'd almost certainly fake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you would assume so. They're probably made of phosphorus or something if yeah. they did that. Um, so, in lighter news, a Spanish woman was jailed for a Twitter joke. So jailed for it. Jailed for it. Yes. Wow. What was her? I mean, it, it was. It was. Uh, basically, they got it on the grounds of terrorism. So Spain has sentenced a history student to one year in jail for tweeting jokes about the assassination of former Prime Minister Luis, Luis Carrero Blanco. Again, I probably um, butchered that. that bit, yeah. Uh, so Luis Carrero Blanco, uh, who was assassinated in 1973, uh, Cassandra Vera was a name. Was found guilty of glorifying terrorism. Uh, humiliating its victims, she's likely to serve her sentence in the in the community. So it's not actually a she's got a jail sentence, but it'll be okay. done under yeah. house duress basically. Um, Blanco was heir to the apparent fascist dictator General uh, Francisco Franco. I just thought that was quite funny. But also on a Spanish note, uh, obviously uh, we we said our goodbyes to um, to the the European Union. Yeah, yeah. We we wrote a lovely a lovely letter. Tell them how much we wish them uh, good in the future. Yeah, uh, it's not them; it's us. They can collect um, their stuff next week. Yeah, yeah. The, we'll we'll be out the house between these hours. It'd be very much appreciated if they could come and collect their stuff. They don't. Yeah. We want to avoid an awkward situation, but yeah. we'd quite like to stay friends with them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those. Uh, we, Maybe we'll meet up for a drink soon. Yeah, we'll meet up for a drink soon. We'll keep in touch. Yeah. It's one of those jobs. Yeah. Um, so obviously now with Spain, there apparently there is a fight over Gibraltar. Oh yeah, so I yeah. thought a bit about this. It's been coming up a couple of times. Yeah. So, so um, fill me in. The first one on this one, this was from I believe on Friday or Saturday. Uh, Spain gets Gibraltar veto in Brexit negotiations is the title of the synopsis. Mm-hmm. Uh, the European Council's draft eight Brexit negotiation guidelines include uh, an effective veto for Spain if it does not say get a say over the future of Gibraltar. The leaked documents say no agreement of the EU's future relationship with the UK would apply to Gibraltar without the approval of Spain. Conservative MPs have warned the sovereign. I've worn the sovereignty of the UK overseas history, uh, overseas territory is not negotiable. So basically, Spain are going, yeah, we quite like Gibraltar Brack, and Britain are going, mm, no. We'd like to keep it, please. Yeah, it's our territory. We'd like to holiday like, there. Yeah, we, it's the only hot bit of 
we have. We just the only yeah. <laughs> we don't have anything else. So we could well go to war over a holiday. So we're going to leave the EU and then go to war with them over a holiday. But we still, but we still want access to all of their free trade. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If we could essentially just have amazing deals like we would have had if we'd stayed with them, but while not having to be anything to do with them. Yeah. The whole Brexit thing is we still want to be able to have all the benefits without paying for it. Is a so basically we still want to have sex with them. But yep. no emotional attachment. Yeah, so we're asking for a friend with benefits with our girlfriend, basically. Yeah. We don't want to be in a relationship with them anymore, but we'd still quite like to sleep with them. Yeah. Basically is what's happening now. Uh, and then it always was... works out very well. Always. Oh, yeah. <laughs> always. Always. Uh, it was then followed up a couple of days later with Gibraltar will be even more British after Brexit, is oh what it's stated in this synopsis. So Gibraltar's chief minister insists the territory is not going to be a political pawn in Brexit. Mm-hmm. I, I just want to put on record, please stop using the word Brexit. It's a goddamn awful oh, thing. Oh, God, yeah. Um, and will become even more British after the Brexit. So, it's, well, I mean, it's pretty British to begin with. It's full of I old feel like builders f- swearing at Spanish people, yeah, from the, what I understand. The phrase, even more British... is not a good thing just, anymore. It strikes fear into my heart, yeah. if I'm honest. It's, yeah. That doesn't sound like a good thing at all. Long gone are the days where being British was seen as being classy and, yeah, and like right, has, has like, an air of... I swear sort of we, used to, we used to lie to ourselves that that was something good, and now we can't even lie to ourselves about it. No, no, we really can't. Um, so it's, it's clear it'll be more British after the Brexit and will. Uh, uh, the news comes after it's revealed that Spain may be able to veto any future trade deal between the EU and the UK heightening tensions over the status of, of the rock in inverted commas which is the rock of Gibraltar well, oh not Dwayne no no no, no not Dwayne no because I would say Dwayne the rock Johnson he I'm very confused yeah. as to why he would be involved in no. this whole thing no it's yeah I don't yeah we, Dwayne the rock Johnson holds the say in Brexit basically that's, that's fair enough actually it was, <laughs> it was in the it's the footer at the bottom I would probably if he told me I would bow down to his decision oh yeah of course I mean you don't have a choice at that point no uh, so all the states of the Rock, which has been held by the UK since 1713, and is home of the British military bases. I mean, we have other military bases, but yeah, yeah they're not all um, there. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, that's, that's very much a, all of your eggs in one basket. No, yeah, so that's select- all of your breggs in. One that basket, is, I believe, though. alternative facts would be yeah. this, or select- alternative facts, selective facts, however you want to put it. What's he done recently? Oh, I, I don't. It just makes me sad. I watched everyone. a, vi- I watched a video earlier where the press are now starting to wonder if he can actually read at a competent level. Because oh, his 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 speeches have been analysed apparently yeah. by um, high level teaching administrations mm. and the way they used to calibrate certain stuff. Uh, yeah. He apparently speaks at a fourth grade level. Great. Uh, they're now assuming that he can only read at a fourth grade level because apparently he doesn't read any form of reports that come through. He actively states that I don't read reports and things like this, which is, yeah, should. yeah, and therefore. there's the yeah, there's this whole thing of like he there's his deposition where he's talking about his um default of a mortgage or something with some renting people back in 2016 yeah i think it was um and it's just basically his lawyer is putting up every single blockade for him he's asked to read certain stuff aloud uh, his lawyer is just going object the objection he's not a lawyer blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, and then basically trump stares and looks at, sits and looks at it for about 30 seconds to a minute of just awkward silence and then gives it a brief summary in his own words <laughs> so yeah I kind of, I just, I don't want to pay attention to that bit anymore. Uh, no, that has happened. We're um, terrified. And apparently his whole cabinet is in disarray because he's apparently obsessed with watching the TV and tweeting. That's pretty much all this day has done. So, but anyway, in, in happier news, successful yes. second flight for SpaceX booster. So have you seen this? The whole no. Elon Musk SpaceX uh, reusable booster rocket jobbies? Oh, no, I did hear about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Elon Musk, um, this is from the article, Elon Musk SpaceX company has successfully reused a section from one of its Falcon 9 rockets, the first time anyone has relaunched a booster into space. The first stage Excellent. rocket, which was used on a mission 11 months ago, was part of the launch to put a telecom satellite into orbit. It then returned to Earth and landed again. Brilliant. So yeah, so it's the first. So the booster rocket styles. It's not to be confused with. Uh, it's the bit that carries the fuel. Right. Generally, that's the of the old ones. The big boosters you could rec- the side boosters you recovered, and the big boosters of the shuttle yeah. you recovered. But they it was only on the shuttles. The things that took stuff up. So satellites. Just yeah, yeah. The you just... you one use jobbies and then they fell apart and ended up as space rubbish. Which later falls down and, and becomes earth rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's, it is designed to break up in the atmosphere upon re-entry and blah, 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 blah. But, but still, like, if you can reuse if, them, yeah, that's just better, You're right? still taking those minerals out of the Earth yeah, and sure. putting them into space, yeah. basically, yeah. for the foreseeable future. So that's cool. Uh, and obviously, it's, it's the way I it saw. lands, it guides vertically onto a... It's all done autonomously. Lands vertically on a mm. pad in the ocean. Nice. Which is really fucking cool. Basically, yeah. Elon Musk is our saviour. And, and He kind of seems to be, right? Yeah, pushing Tesla, the power yeah. banks, the um, this, uh, the roof tiles. Yeah, yeah the solar cool. roof like tiles. Um, he's 
basically pioneering all this sort of stuff. Like but I'm sure something will... Usable energy. He'll, yeah, there'll be... I mean, with great, every great rise, there is a fall. Yeah. So there'll be something that will come up out of that, I'm Probably. sure. But at the moment, he seems to be doing pretty good stuff. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've heard like him to things like Nikola Tesla. Yes. Which seems pretty cool. I mean, Nikola yeah. Te- Tesla was basically chastised for his views because they didn't agree with... Well, because there was the, no the money time. in them. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically yeah, like, they, they couldn't. If you do this, we can't make money out of oil or other. Yeah, things. there's some stuff that's going around. Like every time they look at Tesla's work, they're like, "Oh yeah, no, we've literally just done that." But he did this like 200 years yeah, ago. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and I think the final bit I've got. Oh, no, I've got two bits. Oh, one of them is actually Trump related. I did screenshot one. Uh, so this one is purely just for myself and you, which will find this interesting, which is uh, a third of grammar schools will change their admission rules next year okay. because we are both grammar school... We are. Uh, ex, ...educated. Ex-grammar school. Ex-grammar school. Uh, yeah, the posh kids, as yeah. we were known, even though <laughs> yeah. there's... It's, we're not posh anyway. You don't pay to go there. You just go, I am smarter than you, Yeah. basically. And to be honest, nine times out of ten... You're no, I, could, I remembered facts yeah, better yeah. than you did on like, those three days or, when we did or tests. Or my parents cared enough to push me in this direction. Yeah, I, yeah basically. But it's around a third of grammar schools in England plan to change their admission procedures for the next year to favour children from disadvantaged backgrounds, which is cool. Good, uh, on, good on them. The established, uh, establishments join 49 grammars that already have policies in place to help children in their free school meals and other assistance gaining in schools. Uh, the news comes ahead of the government plans to lift the 50-year-old ban on new grammar schools. Yeah. So there could be some new grammar schools mm. coming out in the future. Well, I think, for a start, I think school meals should be free. Mm-hmm. That seems fairly good. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's a bit of a dick move. I mean, I, well, the thing is, education is free, so yeah, that's true. Well, say we say free, it's taxpayer. You're like yeah. your taxes pay for education. Yeah. Um, what schools are then? The whole thing with grammar is their location. At least part of the argument I understand of it is, why should I pay for grammar school kids when yeah. my kids are in this school? I'm paying for these grammar yeah. schools get to do more, and that's why there's been a ban on any new ones being. Yeah. I mean, I, I actually did both. So I, I went to a mixed comp and mm-hmm. I went to a grammar school. Mixed comprehensive, yep. sorry. Uh, and I went to a grammar school as well. And actually, for my money, the mixed comprehensive was better. Yeah, it's a lot... A better school. A lot of people, like, the grammars are generally regarded as being just sort of stuffy and snooty. And yeah. The, the education's the no, necessarily better. To, uh, naming no names. Hmm. Um, if you weren't a sportsman of some sort, a mathematician yep. or into um, building things... Like um, design technology based yeah, stuff, yeah, 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 yeah DT type stuff. Uh, so that's new, pneumatics, of, woodworking stuff. Like yeah, that. if you yeah. weren't one of those, then there was no point you being there. Yeah, this because we went, we went to the same school, yeah. Um, and yeah, it was largely the same. We were a few years apart, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it was largely the same as I was there. I just sort of there was a, a bit more of a move into IT because yeah. um, it was becoming a bit more prevalent at that point. Yeah, yeah, um, but definitely, like if you played cricket well. Oh yeah, if you could you do the were. if you could do the footballs, the hockeys, or the crickets. Yeah, you were sorted. Less so much the hockeys. They're not so not yes. the hockeys, the rugby's. The rugby's weren't as high there, no. but the, the crickets definitely. Crickets, I think, was probably their their real key. Yeah, because right? you went off on the Bahamas for a week. You did, yeah, yeah. that's very true. Well, um, I didn't, and neither no, did you. No, I was did. Cricketers are nothing but glorified picnickers, in my opinion. I was I was not good at any of the above. I was good at hockey, but I refused to play it because the people who played it were awful. Yeah, that seems fair. Um, yeah, but that, I, yeah, it was very much. I mean, it became a. Sp- Sports, sports, sports and mathematics. Yeah, it's no, it's a grammar school specialising in sports and mathematics. That was it. Yeah. Which basically we knew the exact trajectory to hit a cricket ball to score a six every time, <laughs> and some of the people there could do it. Yeah, yeah. It's basically how I always paraphrased yeah, it. I think so that's we knew how fair. to do it, but we were always rubbish at sports because we never won anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that seems entirely fair. But yeah, I just, it's always good. I think more grammar schools it can't be a bad thing yeah like yeah. more educational facilities seems a good idea yeah and grammars tend to have a higher standard in the yeah. pe- people's opinion anyway yeah, yeah like they tend to generally come with better standards although the grammar here has Not been one of the lowest performing schools uh for quite yeah. a while but anyway less about that yeah um the final one i've grabbed is uh trump apparently u.s is ready to act alone against north korea so trump is apparently throwing the glove at Kim Jong Un, I yeah. believe it is currently. Um, so, to quote the the synopsis here, uh, Donald Trump says the U.S. is prepared to act alone against North Korea if China does not intervene over the Hermit Kingdom's nuclear program. In an interview with the Financial Times, the U.S. president, who meets Chinese President Xi Jinping, I think I said that right, this week said, "If China is not not going to solve the North Korea, North Korea, we will." That is all I'm telling you. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of the giant orange buffoon. Yeah, it's just 
<laughs> he must be. I know, right? So, I temper my argument with the fact that social media is expanding at a ridiculous rate and therefore making it easier to mock people on a worldwide platform. Oh yeah, the um, however the blind mocking of Trump is what's annoying me more than anything else because it is now cool to take the piss out of him. Yeah, rather he must be the most mocked president. Oh yeah, well Saturday Night Live have got like four years worth of material yeah. just just being written for them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they just all they have to do is his... they just have to paraphrase his just, yeah. his speeches basically. Yeah. That's all they have to Done. do. Yeah, that is it's just amazing. Yeah, unreal. But frankly, people need to stop chastising, like mocking him, and actually start confronting him yeah yeah because everything is, is all right. sort of done in a tongue-in-cheek oh look he's an idiot but oh like, what an idiot it's like yeah but, what an idiot yeah with what a finger you... on a massive button full of nukes yeah they're just they're doing nothing but being court jesters that's yeah. all they're doing is like ha, ha 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 look at me i'm funny like okay cool you can do anything about it no i didn't run out of material <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least that's true. that's from what i see again it's massive massive, massive allegedly on this but there's, that's just what i see is it's cool to take the piss out of trump right now yeah. um when in actual fact he is doing some serious harm for a lot of potential yeah, like people he's, like he's the, repealed so many things like the Obamacare yeah. um, not Obamacare. the Obamacare not Obamacare as far as I'm aware that's oh, not no, repealed yet to repeal that he yeah. tried but failed he's, he's what removed did he just get rid of it's the climate the Obama climate that um, was it. yeah his, the fuck promises the to climate change yeah well fuck the world in fact yeah not just the country yeah it's yeah it's there's there are and things like the people in the LGBTQ or whatever, yeah LGBTQ yes. community plus community yeah um, how potentially seeing a lot of their or not necessarily from him but it is more socially acceptable for them to be ridiculed in the street okay. and they are legitimately yeah. scared which is not cool no, in not, 2017 no. no one should be no, no one should no, no one should feel unsafe in the, as, as especially themselves. in the western world no one should feel anywhere bad anywhere no but in the western world to be we're meant to be progressive yeah and, yeah it's ridiculous right it's yeah so it, it uh, anyway it just makes me annoyed but from the last pilot, we had the um, what? I, what did I call it? Um, bullshit or no? I had a name for it, but I forgot now. Basically, I tell you facts, you tell me if they're true or wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I did have a name for it earlier. Uh, chat and shit or bullshit. That was it. That's, okay. that's the name I had for it. Chat and shit or bullshit. Um, so these are fifteen what about questions. Fake news or fact news? Uh, well, it's not news based. These are. Well, fuck you. Go on. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I found that this was by... on my head, God damn it! <laughs> these, are, I mean, I found these by googling fact or fiction, so I could probably do that. But sure. I mean, the quiz that I okay. took it from is so. This is from is the last time. Was this where we did the laws? Old yes, laws. Yeah, L- yeah, yeah. British okay. laws, whether they were real or not. From yeah, Buzzfeed. that's it. I remember it. Yeah. This is okay. from the Independent, I believe. I forgot to screenshot the URL, but they have a fact or fiction quiz which I took. I scored fifty-four percent. Okay. So, um, so is that what my Yes, there are, th- there are 13 questions. I will not work out your percentage, but we'll give it a, a oh, rough guesstimation. guesstimate. Yeah. So, uh, question one. Guide dogs for the blind cannot tell red lights from green lights. Is that true or is that false? Is that true oh. or is it false? Now. Right, so... You're basically, are, are dogs red, green, colour blind? Is yeah, basically like, what you're trying to work out. Can I go through the, yeah. the logic here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my logic tells me that they should be colour blind. Mm-hmm. Like, something's telling me that ant- dogs are colour blind. Yes, but are they wolves red-green... Are related to wolves, blah, 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 something or other. But However, are they red-green colour blind? I don't think That's it's a... so much they're red-green colour blind. I think they're trained to know the positions. Mm-hmm. So, but that's not. It's not asking if it can recognise a difference. Is can dogs can they tell the difference between a red light and a green light? Okay. So it's specifically saying say the no. colour. Uh, it is. Uh, it's true. Dogs cannot tell the difference between red lights so and green lights. Right. Yes. No, they can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. One. So yeah, the the statement was guide dogs for the blind cannot tell red lights from green lights. Yeah. Yes, technically. You, but yes, I think they could tell the. Yes, they cannot. <laughs> yes. Boom. I will answer these in the most complicated way I can. <laughs> yes. So ding. I actually I thought that was a. Do- I was like nah. Like I knew they were colour blind, but I'm yeah. like nah. I think I, I think that's by like now. I, say, I reckon they're taught to learn the positioning yes. of it, yeah, so they yeah, can yeah, still understand. use it. I reckon that this I'd be this because a lot of the ones you sound a lot of times yes, or or to notice when the car stop. Yeah. I don't know. You'd have to analyze a dog's brain to figure out. Yeah. What actual or stimulus a is you? Trainer, blind dog trainer. That a, blind, would be terrible. a blind dog. I'm you sorry, mean. you're blind, sir. Here is your blind dog. I hope he helps. No, you're not. No, it's a blind dog trainer would just be someone who trained blind dogs. Yeah, yeah, and then gave them to blind people. Well, they've done it for the blind to quite literally lead the blind. No, because that'd be that'd be a blind 
dog guide dog trainer. This is just a blind dog trainer. What does so he you, train them to do? I don't know. You're the one who made up the position of a blind dog trainer, a man who trains oh, blind wait, dogs. No, maybe he's blind and he just trains dogs. Any dogs. <laughs> Uh, but he wait. is blind. Anyway, move on. Question two. Coming off of this <laughs> massive roundabout that we're on. Uh, question two. The original Parker pen was so popular for a time, writing also became known as parking. No, I think that's bullshit. Uh, no, that was... No, no, yeah, that was bullshit, yeah. No, okay. I put true. I'm like, that's so stupid. That could be true. Dang. Yeah. So, no, par- writing was never referred to as parking. No, that's ridiculous. Um, Making you, out if, with your mother in the 50s was referred to as parking. Yes, it was, yeah. yeah. But uh, generally in America in reality or in sitcom TV shows generally yeah. um, or Back to the Future isn't it Back Park. to the Future yeah, yeah. Park uh, right so question three American cotton farmers welcome the arrival of, the, of summer field spider on their crops as it feeds on the notorious boll weevil this is why to this day it is against the law to tread on a spider in Alabama I shall read that again. American cotton farmers welcome the arrival of the summer field spider among their crops as it feeds on the notorious boll weevils this is why today it is against the law to tread on spiders in Alabama Okay, so I've heard of boll weevils. Yep, boll weevils. I know nothing about them. But is it illegal in basically the cross? I've heard of Alabama. Yes. But I don't know very much about it. No. So do you think Alabama is stupid enough to have a law that makes it illegal to step on spiders? Uh, no, it is uh, false. God damn! All right. I I also went true on that yeah. one. I thought there was going to be one of those stupid could be stupid enough. So stupid true. could be true. Yeah, I went for that one a lot of them. Okay. So, uh, question four: In the nineteen seventy six games, all female athletes were sex tested except for Princess Anne. So, print. when you say sex tested, you mean checked? I assume gender. Gender tested gen- yeah. rather than like how if they, they are Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, from from what I gleaned from this question, yes, yeah. it, 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 that, that was read verbatim. Yeah. So, at, so they were all sex tested except for Princess Anne. It's uh, in 1976 games. All females, all female athletes were sex tested except for Princess Anne. True. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Uh, in uh, question five, in Brooklyn, New York, is illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. Question five. In Brooklyn, New York, it is illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. Is that true or is that false? Brooklyn well known for its donkeys? I don't know. Uh, well known for its bath? It's well known for people coming straight out of it. Oh no, it's Compton, my bad. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's me being horrifically white right there and not knowing music. Or places in America. <laughs> or, place, or places um, or words or anything. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to go false. Based on my misstep with the spider... Mm-hmm. I'm going false. This is too bullshit to be a real law. No, this is true. It God is, damn it! <laughs> it is illegal uh, for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub in Brooklyn, New York. Why? I don't know. It doesn't give me answers. Just God, I want to know why that's do- a thing. It does not give me justification. If anyone knows, leave a comment and explain it to me. Yes, that would be anyone in Brooklyn who has tried to sleep, put a bathtub, um, yeah. uh, a bathtub to sleep in a donkey, a donkey to sleep in that's a bathtub. A, I can understand why that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically force feeding a donkey a bathtub. Yeah, it? that's inhumane. Carry on. So, so, question six: The fox route is uh, no, no fox trot. Sorry, the fox trot is banned in Japan, where foxes are regarded as darkness devils. In inverted commas, to, well, not inverted commas. Sorry, in print, the, uh, the things. Yeah, you, you do the rabbit word. ears. That, no, marks, single, marks. single ears. The apostrophes. Yeah, apostrophes. De- darkness devils who whisper uh, lethal spells into the ears of people as they sleep. I oh. think that is bullshit because. Because I'm pretty sure there's a whole fucking park where you can go hang out with foxes, so I don't feel they feel that badly about them. But do they think? But is is it possibly that they they have these foxes here, but they they just don't like being around them at night? Is that why they're all in that park? So they're not. No, I think it's bullshit. Yeah, that is bullshit. There we go. Yeah, so um, it is not the foxes, as far as I'm aware, are not treated as darkness devils, no. which is my favourite thing. Not, ever. They've not outlawed. They probably should be. Have you heard them shag? Oh yeah, no, they terrible. <laughs> A terrible, yeah. terrible noise. It is. It does. But it, it's nothing to do with the fox trot. It's not. So. No. Um, did it, uh, so, question seven. Research has shown that people with ginger hair require twenty percent more anaesthetic before surgery than people with coloured hair, or with other coloured hair. Sorry. So, research has shown that people with ginger hair require twenty percent more anaesthetic before surgery than people with other coloured hair. I, is that true? No, or is that, that false? I, that's bo- that's got to be bollocks. That is true. Really? Yeah. So, by my maths, you're. Th- Three and four at this point. I think uh, we're four and three. Four and three. Four and three. Got four right. Yeah, so four right, three wrong. So question eight. The New Zealand hoo-hoo beetle uh, known <laughs> as, is known as a hair cutter. It has sharp hooks on its long legs. It has sharp hooks on its long yeah. legs. So if, uh, if one lands on your hair and gets entangled, you need a haircut to get it out. 
that could well be true because you've got the uh, we've got an equivalent uh, June bugs. Yes. Which again get all tangled up in your. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you need to cut them out physically, but no. they get all tangled up. So I'm gonna go true on that one. That is true. Yeah. Uh, question nine: The verb to lobby uh, is takes uh, takes its meaning from the prince uh, practice of trying to influence an MP by treating him to champagne and a lobster lunch. The verb to lobby takes the meaning from the practice of trying to influence an MP by treating him to champagne and a lobster lunch. Is that true or is that false? I think it's false. That is false. Yes. Uh, Question 10. Oh, my picture's disappeared. Come back. Question 10. In London, when telephones first became popular, instead of having a directory inquiry service, callers would send their servants around to the home of the office uh, they were trying to contact to ask for their telephone number. In London, I, <laughs> I'm just going to go balls out. I don't need to repeat. It. I think that's true. I think that is such a wonderfully British way of dealing with not knowing what someone's number is. It is the most Victorian British sentence I've ever possibly yeah. heard, but unfortunately, it is false. Oh no! And I was going to say, it's like oh, it's got to be true. That oh. is, that is Victorian Britain if I've ever heard one. That's so disappointing. Send the servant, just upper class people. We're only people to have telephones. Go, yeah, send the boy like, around. I need to call. Need to call this person. Send the boy around, and I will get, get the telephone number. number. Come straight back here and tell me it so I can yeah. talk to them. So I can talk to them. <laughs> Rather than sending a message or yeah, going yourself, no, that, just send the boy. It's such an upper-class Victorian thing to do. It is. Why is that not true? I don't know. Uh, question 11. If an armadillo were the size of a human, its penis would be four feet long. And it would be crunch on the outside but smooth on the inside. <laughs> Armadillos. Um. I'll say it again. In, in, uh, if an armadillo were the size of a human, its penis would be four feet long. Is that true or is that false? So basically, is the armadillo one of Scaling those up. creatures that got a crazy big penis for the yeah. body? What is the armadillo dick to body ratio? Is basically what you work, need to work out as. And if you were, so, to, I mean, that would need to be like on your average human. I mean, it's a leg. Is basically what it is. My leg's not four foot long. No, it's not. Mine, looking at it, mine's probably about three feet long. So yeah, yeah. like your so, average human is what about six foot? Six foot, yeah. So it's so three quarters of a human, yeah. or a small human. So so it's three quarters of a, an armadillo. Yeah. yeah, fuck it. Why not? That is true. Yeah, yeah the dick to uh, dick to dick to ratio is fantastic. <laughs> uh, question Maybe tw- not for the lady dillo though. I don't know. I mean, everything's all got to scale, surely. Just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> uh, question twelve. In China, the slogan "Come alive with Pepsi" was misinterpreted as "Pepsi brings your relatives back from the dead." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, yes, that's true. That I'm is, just going with that being true. That is true. Yes. So question thirteen at court. Should have rolled with it. <laughs> <laughs> at court, Sir Walter Raleigh devised a new kind of gavot. I believe that's how you pronounce it, where the dancers actually made physical con- physical body contact, known as Sir Walter's gavot. Later shortened to waltz dance, then further shortened to waltz. So basically, right, so you're, you're saying Sir Walter did, Raleigh so, did Sir Walter Raleigh invent, invent the waltz? The yes, that's a very that's an easy way of putting because I don't know what gavot is. But no, I'm neither do I. Say bullshit. <laughs> Uh, that is bullshit, yes. Because the waltz is not English. No, it's not. It is uh, Austrian. Austrian, yeah. There yeah. You go. I couldn't think where it was, but no. I knew it wasn't English. No, it's it, I basically it's German for some reason. But... Yeah, I, I think it's Austrian anyway. Yeah, I think it's you're some right. it's some um, Baroque kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so that is the all thirteen questions. You I got, got nine. Nine. So let me do some quick mathematics here. I'll be honest, mate. I uh, think I poked you on that. Oh, you did, yeah. But I, I went with answers I wanted to be true rather than ones <laughs> I thought were true. Uh, da, 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 nine divided by 13 times by 100 gives you 69%, which is the best 69, of... 69, dude! Which is the best of the percentiles to have. It certainly is. It is the best of the percentiles. Right, I have, I think, one further thing to do, which is the... Uh, for us, regular, but has only actually been published once, which is the <laughs> "Explain to me that always sunny" episode from nothing okay. but the, nothing but the title. <laughs> so we need to catch your name for that if it's going to be yeah. a regular spot. Well, I mean, there's only two more episodes left in the season. We're so, going to start doing it with other shows. Yeah, we will do. <laughs> I actually quite like this. So mostly because yeah. I get the benefit of just sitting down and watching always sunny, and I get something yeah, out of yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. other than just hilarity. So basically what happens in this part is I give Jay nothing but the title of the season 12 episodes of Always Sunny, which have not aired in the UK yet. Which we have um, not seen yet. I ha- you have not seen yet. I have yeah, had the pleasure have. of seeing. Um, and Jay basically gives me the gist of the episode, characters involved, and how the how he thinks the episode will progress based yeah. nothing but on the title. 
Yeah. Okay. It's not as easy as it sounds. People. No, it's, it's not. It's not. Um, so for this one, yeah. uh, this is episode seven of this was no sorry six episode six so we're doing episode six seven and eight on this one okay yeah uh so episode six is titled hero or hate crime hero or hate crime so how do you okay. think the episode hero or hate crime would progress who would be involved and what would happen what would lead to either a heroic act or a hate crime so somebody needs to beat someone down mm-hmm. and it needs to be a question mark as to whether or not they were saving somebody else mm-hmm. or just beating probably a minority okay so in my head somebody is probably mistakenly being held up or, or mugged or something similar by a minority do you think someone one of the gang or a an I extra or else, one on the peripheries like one of the recurring maybe a characters periphery, actually it could be a periphery one of the recurring characters yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, and the gang misguidedly beat down said minority right and tried to prove that they were doing it as an act of heroism rather, rather than, than just rather than so like just being held up by someone of a of a persuasion exactly yeah or a yeah, that stereotypes would suggest would do yeah. that so lgbtq plus exactly yeah uh, yeah. yeah all that sort of um, stuff yeah so that's what i think would happen mm-hmm. um so. i think let's see because Mac would want to provide the beat down, but couldn't, and mm-hmm. wouldn't. He would chicken out. Dennis would make someone else do the beat down for him. He mm-hmm. would never do it himself. Right. So it's probably going to be either D or Charlie that really get involved. D's not. D's not going to do it. She's an actress. She wouldn't get involved. She would shout, but nothing more. Mm-hmm. So I feel that it's probably Charlie that administered the beatdown. Right, okay. Maybe yep. Frank, because mm-hmm. he's insane enough. Yeah, it's Frank. It's, it's Frank, he can do anything. He will do anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, he'll do yeah. anything. Um, whatever happens, they then will they will then try and spin it mm-hmm. so that they look good yep. rather than terrible. Right, okay. Um, which Frank will probably be a very big part of, as will Dennis, because he will believe he can spin anything. Because he is Dennis. Yeah. Exactly. He is the golden yeah. god. Yeah. Okay, so um, beat down of a minority. Yeah, gang tries to spin it back to be a positive thing. Like we weren't, we weren't hating. We were actually helping. Exactly. And yeah. expect a hero's thing from yeah. it. Yeah. So in fact, they might even convince one of the periphery to pretend to be a victim. Right. So that mm-hmm. they can spin it better. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So the next one. Yeah. Is PTSD as in PTSD double E as in bird okay, as so in bird post traumatic stress D. D yes. Okay, so. Yeah. I wonder if this is the return of um, the soldier. What's his name? Uh, I can't think of his name, but ben? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, Soldier Ben. ben. Soldier, soldier Ben, ben. that's soldier it. Ben. Yeah. So it could well be the... Re- oh, or... Mm. Oh, or. it could be a, uh, a callback to when they broke D. When oh, they yeah. Played the horrifically... Oh, the really long where they think she becomes a stand-up yeah, 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 comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah where yeah. They, they call back to that and re-break her. So you're thinking it's de reliving so, a, po- one of the a post-traumatic many horrific thing. things that yeah. they've done to her. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. So it's just de going through a, a breakdown for the course of the episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And the last one is the gang tends to bar. The gang tends bar. Okay. So, what do you think would happen in that one? How would it break down? How would the episode play out? And I'm going to keep talking to fill the silence. Yeah, I'm staring blankly. At staring you. blankly. I can so hear. I, I can hear tick tick tick. If I were, if I were writing Always Sunny, mm-hmm. which, which God, you, I wish I was writing Always Sunny, which you have done as a test I have script. To do yeah. so. Yeah, I'm not as good as them, <laughs> um, and I'm willing to admit that they're fucking geniuses. They are. Um, I would write an episode where they actually have to run their bar mm-hmm. because they have not done so since like season one. Like in a very long time, they've always been on some caper that basically doesn't really involve running the bar. Since, since Dan De- yeah, since Frank's turned up, he's just been a funder of Pretty stupid much, schemes. Yeah, so yeah. like there's the odd one where they do stuff involving the like there's the the one where they try and make it popular, like that cool bar down the, the street. The gang desperately wants to win an award. That's it. Yes, oh, yeah. I showed that to Amy the other day. That's why, I, that's why I knew the episode straight off the top yeah, of my head. brilliant episode. Spiders! So, <laughs> spiders! Deep so, in my soul! I've, I've got a story about that in a moment. Um, uh, so, so I reckon there is, a, there is an episode where they actually just have to run the bar. Mm-hmm. 
I'm trying to think of why that would have to happen. Mm-hmm. Because it can't be health inspector. We've already had that. No, that's Charlie Day. Yeah, that's Charlie Day. Another great. Charlie episode. Work. Sorry, Charlie, Charlie work. work. Everything's a good episode. Um, the camera work in Charlie Work is fantastic. Oh, it's brilliant. It's, it's so the seventy, well like done. fifteen minutes of effectively. Like there are some stitches there are in cuts, there, but they're very well done. So it seems like it's a continuous. Yeah, shot. they're they're sort of stitched rather than yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah, so. very slickly done. Yeah. yeah. Um, Right, so they need the, the the gang actually has to do its fucking job and run the bar for y- once. Yeah, I mean, well, that's a given in the title. So, yeah. 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 Um, it's going to go horribly wrong, mm-hmm. obviously. It always does, I yeah. I think they're going to fracture because they're not used to being in those roles anymore. So nobody's going to actually want to work behind the bar anymore. Right, yeah. Um, D- Dennis will probably think he's some sort of amazing host, so he'll be <laughs> out on the floor hosting, hosting. rather than actually doing anything a bit denising up the place yeah yeah, yeah. max security Mac will be running mm-hmm. security very poorly yep um, D might put herself behind the bar but will be too busy trying to either flirt with men or further her other career of being an actor or, or comedian or, or comedian yeah. Yeah, 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 or yeah. any of the above um, Frank will be trying to bang everything female mm-hmm. and being dirty probably. and just, just being Frank um, and Charlie will probably be locked in the basement rat bashing yeah yep okay cool Right, this is the point where uh, it's spoilers because I've watched these and I tell Jay how close he is to the actual yeah, episode. So Without like, spoiling it for Jay, just giving him the brief summary yeah, of the episode. Yeah, just tell me if I was close. But if you yeah. don't want to know anything about the episodes, don't listen now. Come back in like five this minutes. Will, this will be the last bit. So, um, yeah, we'll make this the last part of it because we have gone for an hour and ten minutes so far. Oh, so, um, for the people who don't want to know this one, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah. People are back to the next episode. Uh, next episode is what I want to say. Um, but yes, yeah, so at this point, this is full spoiler warning for season 12 of uh, episode 6, 7, and 8 of Always Sunny. Right, I've given you enough warning now. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, the hero or hate crime. Yeah. So, what happens in this one is they are currently. It starts off the episode with a uh, ganger on the street. Uh-huh. Uh, Frank has got an array of mirrors, uh, what look to be dentist mirrors, on mm-hmm. his shoe and is chatting to a woman in a skirt. Right. Okay, yeah. so being Frank. Um, D and Dennis are have just come out of a convenience store, mm-hmm. and uh, Charlie and Mac are walking along the street. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlie walks in dog shit, but claims it first and goes, "Oh, careful, dog shit!" and then puts his foot in it. Yeah, has a conversation with Mac about why he is. But why did you, you you saw that? Why did you step? And he goes, "No, I didn't. No, I, I mean, I barely saw it." He goes, "No, you literally just said stated it out loud to warn me about it, and then you trod on yourself." So, yeah, well, you know, I barely saw it. So, no, you didn't. And then basically, what happened? Uh, there's a piano in uh, on rope. Above, just above the street as you know there is yeah yeah. Uh, and then I forget exactly what happens but something basically makes the rope start Snap. to fracture yeah uh, Frank notices it first oh no I know what it is it's uh, basically a, a scratch ticket comes flies out of Dee's bag mm-hmm. falls underneath the piano yeah like on the street Matt goes over and picks it up yeah uh, so I think uh, someone comes out a window or a bird hits the rope yeah um, slow-mo happens and then Frank sees it happening he goes look out faggot Warning, yeah, yeah. There's the uh, that okay. is that is said in the episode. That yeah. is, that is a uh, yeah, that's a banned word on YouTube. Never mind. Yeah. So yeah, he basically says, that "Look out." Direct quote from the episode. Yeah, that's a look out. F word. Yeah. Um. At which point, Mac, everyone gets very confused. Charlie then um power kicks Mac away from under the piano, which then falls. Yeah. Um. Next shot is they're in an arbitrary process. Um. And they're arguing. Much like the serial. Whose fault was the scene yes, of yes. Dennis's car? That's yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. So much like they're trying to ascertain, but they start off going, saying about um, how um, Frank was going. I'm a hero. I I made you aware of the situation. Yeah. Tries like, I'm a hero. I kicked you away from it. It's like, yeah. Uh, Matt goes. You can't be a hero. You use a derogatory term. The blah blah yeah, blah. And they go to our crime. So and the arbitrator goes. So let me understand this right. You want to ascertain whether he can be classified a hero based on using rank um, slur. And they go, What? No, no. We're trying to figure out who owns the scratch card. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so that goes through the whole thing. They work out because they they all pitch their reasons as to why. So D bought it, but it was with Dennis's money. Yeah. Um, Frank made them aware, of, like of the, make sure death. that Mac didn't die. Charlie kicked away from not dying. Mac was yeah. the person who had the scratch card at the end yeah. of the day. So okay. Got you. They all ascertain. They all pitch their arguments to it. So I was fairly far off. To yeah, a little bit. Okay. Um, and well, that might make sense. I'm happy to say that. But there is a shock ending which I'm not going to say for you right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, it goes off in a very 
it, it, basically they, they present one thing and then do something completely different with it, okay. it as is as always Sunny is wont to do yeah. uh, next one is PTSD which yeah. is basically the um, D ends up pulling a stripper male stripper yeah uh, he then describes that he is uh, it's a low life for him he thanks D for like oh, I've been so low in my life um, all I've been doing is playing games and sleeping with random women uh, yeah. thank you for um, waking me up to how bad my life has been I need to turn it around and also I left my watch at your place can I have it back please <laughs> right um, Mac and Frank are lost in the VR world of it's like Fallujah and yeah. they're, they're doing it and Frank shoots a kid yeah. completely unremorselessly yeah. goes uh, the kid starts giving them what uh, kid comes out the door holding a bottle of water yeah. giving it to Mac and then Frank shoots him yeah. and Mac starts uh, getting PTSD from it <laughs> uh, like right, waking right. up cold sweats yeah. and then other things related to the previous episode happen yeah. as well sure. because a revelation has happened at the end of at the end of the last yeah. one which carries which forward one yeah. well I don't I, I don't want to spoil it for sure. you okay. um, and then Frank starts getting PTSD from because uh, he was uh it's something to do with the male stripper basically they end up having a strip Dennis wants to become a male stripper because the guy was complaining about how hard his life was yeah and then go but that it calls back to his rape from the uh, librarian from when he was younger oh yes yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and then with Charlie as well the fact he was um, I think was it do with the whole nightman stuff yeah as well um, and they end up becoming a stripper called um, what was it daddy and the boy uh, where Dennis play, he gets a character of who do girls want to sleep with more than anyone else? Their dad. So, but then it ends up being like a weird sort of dramatized thing. Of course, yeah. Uh, they put on a strip show where they become the dad and the boy, and then Dee brings her stripper boyfriend in, to say like, "Look, you're you're the headliner act. This isn't bad. Like, you've got all these young women here. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. The scene happens." And he goes out and dances. He's doing in a thong and th- yeah, yeah, thrusting um, this thing in crotch into the face of the woman. Uh, it turns out to be his daughter, which Dee had set up. Yeah. And um, then basically, it was just Dee setting up to say, "Hey, you thought your life was the low point before. Now this is much lower. You just robbed your crotch in the face of your own daughter." <laughs> uh, and then yeah, it's just basically yeah. being, Dee being a bitch. Sure. Um, and then the gang tens bar is. Basically, yeah, they do end up running the bar, but Dennis is running the bar. It's Valentine's Day. Right. And Dennis wants them to run it on, uh, yeah. to actually just run the bar. So it's like, look, I just... Can we just do, our, yeah. do what we do? Do yeah, what do we need to be doing. Like, the bar's running well. Can we just have a normal... Like, we haven't yeah. run a bar. And they, the last time they actually ran the bar was when they had the underage drinking oh, yeah. thing That's from sad, season yeah. one. Um, So, yeah, that, that whole happens. But they, there's a whole thing with Max going, there's a crate in the alleyway. And they're like, oh, let's go see the crate. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. No, no you... We, we're working like do your job and um, the soda streamer thingy at the bar gets yeah. clogged so Dennis asks everyone in turn to clear it but everyone thinks like oh, you should trick this trick X in to do it why could you not and then he asks the next person he's like no 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 tricking just just go and do your job Yeah. and then he tells Charlie to go and mop up the what is it called the the something puddle yeah. um, it's just this puddle that keeps growing liquid yeah um <laughs> But the bar's actually like full of people. And Rickety Cricket comes in and goes, "Hey guys, do you mind if I smoke PCP in your toilet?" And they're like, "Yeah, no, go ahead." And the bar's like, "What the fuck?" It's just the scene devolves into that, and they come out having a massive argument on the shop fl- yeah. on the the bar floor. Yeah. All the customers end up going anyway, and Dennis gets very annoyed. Uh, and they hypothesise that they're like, "Why is Dennis caring so much about us running the bar? He's, he's clearly he's trying to get us to work through the fact it's Valentine's Day because, and explore ourselves and do all this sort of stuff to it." <laughs> and um, he basically ends up Dennis is like no I don't hate Valentine's Day I just want you to do your job I just want you to do your job and then it, he goes like no I do hate Valentine's Day because you bastards never get me anything and then he ends up with Mac giving him a Valentine's Day present which is a rocket launcher <laughs> 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 and then that's, that's the end of the episode I really appreciate that as a Valentine's present yeah and Dennis is like I do have feelings it, it's just it, it, it's easier just for me to not have them because you hurt me so much by never getting me anything <laughs> and then he opens the box and pulls out this shoulder mounted RPG of course so yeah obviously that's uh, that's oh. that's those ones in in a nutshell. Uh, watching them is far better than me describing them, so do watch them because yeah. they are fantastic. I have heard how the season ends without watching it, uh, and it is sad. So okay. I I will not share that bit when we do that ne- next week no, or whenever we. But yeah, uh, so that will be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, yeah, it's hour and whatever at this point, so we'll we'll call it here because I'm hungry and I'm tired. That seems fair. And I'm tired of talking. Yeah. Um. That so. Seems fair too. 
thank you very much for watching uh, slash listening I will eventually get this up as an on demand podcast at some point I'm just finding places to host it so at the moment it will be on the YouTubes um, the YouTubes the YouTubes uh, you have a, a thing that you you do your band thing if you want to plug that <laughs> yes I do yeah. yeah a thing that I do you have a yes. thing that you do yeah, yeah. Uh, band to the bro band to the bone dot wordpress dot com it is a blog about a semi fictional band and all the misery of uh of being in an early life of the band. Like, I say semi-fictional. The band's fictional. The misery is real. So very real. It's Jay, pu- Jay and friends pulling from past experiences of running a band before anything actually happens yeah, to it. Like so it's the, just gigging local and living in a garage. It's yeah. going to a local pub, playing yeah. for four people, blah, blah, and then exactly. going on going on tour for £17 between you, trying to figure out how you can get from... Hit- like southeast to the northwest, yeah, in a van it's that you exactly don't own that's big, not big enough to carry your stuff or you. It is all of those things and more. All so yeah, get, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah. I'll get you to send that over to me. Cool. Um, but yeah, this has been the non refundable podcast. This will be episode one of the non refundable podcast. Uh, actual official release episodes that the audio should be pretty good for. Um, hopefully. hopefully. But yeah, thank you very much for watching slash listening, guys. Um, my name's Niff. That has been Jay, aka Samurai Gopher. Cheers, guys. Um, yeah, and we'll try and do another one next week. But we are busy people. But we'll try and keep it as regular as possible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you very much, from guys. Uh, if you could like, uh, comment, like the video, uh, share it to anyone you think may be relevant or people you don't. Uh, comment as well really helps out, especially if you're that one person from Florida. If you've made it this far, then you <laughs> really are dedicated. Definitely, um, and I do or appreciate if you know it why massively. It's illegal to try and kill, uh, no, let a donkey sleep in a bar. Yes, if you're in, in if if anyone watches this video from Brooklyn, can you please tell us why it is illegal to let your donkey sleep in yeah. a bathtub? Let the damn donkey sleep I, where it likes. As far as I'm aware, Brooklyn doesn't appear to be a place that is prevalent with donkeys either. So yeah. very strange really with that one. Complex on that one. But yeah, once again, thank you very much for guys. Uh, new episode will hopefully be up next week. Uh, do go to 177entertainment.com for more other videos or um, feel free to search the channel. I've got gameplay content in various games that I play to various levels of success. So yeah, cheers. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.